Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, um, I think we'll start a new series of, um, Gold Rush the game. So let's just get into a new season. And, um, how about we just do a normal, just a normal one. Right, I think, I already know how to play this, um, so I won't do the tutorial. But, um, anyway, so this is Gold Rush the game on my Steam account. Um, well, me and my dad share it, but, um, just get into it, and, uh, da 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 Alright, we're in. And, um, okay, that's where we'll go. Um, so what we want to do, jump in the car, um, turn the engine on, release the handbrake, and, um, drive. Um, so we just drive up this road. Nope, we were meant to take a turn there. And here we go. Up here, just slowly drive. Whoops, this is kind of hard to control. So I believe this is up in Haynes, Alaska. Yep, there's the sign. This is the gas station there. The first thing that we'll need to do is stop in at the bank. So here's the bank. Just slow down. Brake, stop the engine, save that fuel. Because fuel's expensive. Old gun bay. So I'm looking for old Arnold parcel, yeah. That's it. Lease. So um Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we leased it. Um And then let's go over to the shop and we can get some supplies. So let's quickly stop here. Handbrake, engine off, out. And first thing we'll need is we'll need a bucket. I I'll just get two. Um, we will also need a hog pen no pump. A hog pen sluice box core. We'll get the extension later. Um, a shovel which you have in your inventory which is just two um so i believe that's it oh also we'll need hog pen mats so yes yeah, here where you find them so i just need two for now like that and all the rest of the equipment will be provided otherwise. now i come to the cash register 160 dollars order Okay, now let's get that. Um, and let's load it into the truck. Alright, put that in the car. Put that in the car. Like so. Like so. And like that. So space is the handbrake off. X is to start the engine. And then we're off. Just slowly try and get up the hill. Alright, okay, just steadily get up the hill. So um on the right there, that's where you buy all the heavy machinery in there. If you can see there's excavators and you know, all different things, there's like shakers and other wash plant things in there. For now, um... Ooh. For now, um, I just use the manual tools. It's good enough for now. Um... Let's creep up. 
and it's just over here. Um, so let's quickly take a left turn. And if we keep driving here, we'll break, break, oh. Ah, that's fine. So those are the controls if you guys want to see. Um, I'm on keyboard and mouse. I mean, I don't, I think you can get Steam on mobile. I mean, I have like an iPad, but, you know, I have nothing crazy. I have this computer, but iPad, so I'm pretty lucky to have a Oh, I think the hood's broken. Okay, I see if I go over the slightest little corner, it flaps up. Look, I'll show you if I go over this thing. You guys see how it just flapped up? I broke it. Yeah, that's fine. It's the work car, it's not any sports car. It's a couple hundred thousand dollars, so. Ooh! Break. And then let's get out. And we just set it over here. Um, you're gonna let me place that. Come on, please let me place. I think I might need to um, place this first. There we go. Beautiful. Good old work car. Bet you could probably drive this thing off a cliff and it still runs. So there's a story thing. Okay, it's somewhere here. Can I like pick it up or like where is it? Like I'm pressing like E. Uh, like <sighs> yeah, I'm not very. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, nope. I don't want to see that. Anymore. Like so. Sorry if you guys hear background noise. Um, I think my dad's currently mowing the lawn. And he's just getting the lawn mower started. Anyway, so the first thing we do is we, um, we mine into the hill. And just slowly break away at it. Like so. And then, I feel like once we do that, no, still going, still has room. Oh, I found a nugget. Ooh, first gold of the day, guys. Woo! So we'll pick the bucket up, scoop some water through, drain some, put some more, and you can get a hog pan pump, so uh, what you do is you set up a little generator and water pump, and it would have a little nozzle at the back, and instead of having to scoop buckets in and keep feeding it water from the stream is that good enough? yeah um you can straight up just like you know let it go through also um i have just set up a tiktok account um so i might be posting some short little videos on that um but i have um it i have a link to my youtube channel through it so if you guys want to check out that um you can if you want to I haven't posted anything yet, so don't bother. 
Oh, another piece of gold of the day. I'm a lucky man. Oh, why did I just do that? I'm not sure. I'm a prospector. I've always wanted to go like gold painting. Sadly, that's like not a very gonna happen for me. So why not do it in a computer game? That's why I like computers. You don't need to like, you know, you can do things. Like, you know, like example, there's flight simulators, like this Microsoft flight simulator here on Steam. And in real life, it would probably cost you like, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars to like go for a pilot's license. There you can, you know, sort of just fly around at will, like fly, basically like just select one of the aircraft they have and go anywhere in the world you want. So whether that be from, I don't know, Antarctica all the way up to Santa, you could go and visit Santa in the North Pole or something. Um, or you could also go around the, you know, savannah of Africa. Like, you know what I mean? That's just my opinion. Of course, it would probably be better to do it in, like, real life. But, you know, money sometimes holds stuff back. And I, I certainly don't have enough money to, um go and get a pilot's license and you know go around wherever I want um and on that flight simulator like you know you don't need to pay for fuel if you're a pilot and like you know fuel is expensive so yeah I like computers I'd love to do it in real life but you know Look, it's a golden retriever. <laughs> Have you guys ever had like a golden retriever? I've never had a golden retriever. I've had a Labrador before. Once I had a black Labrador. He was a Labrador cross Great Dane. We um we adopted him from the shelter, like the RSPCA, and um. He was a really good boy. His name was Chip. Yeah. Sadly, he died last year, but I still have my other dog, Roxy. She's, I think she's 16 in human years now, so she's like a, I don't know, a couple hundred years in dog years. She's like, you know, you know, she's lived a fair bit, like, She's, the good thing is she's still healthy and like likes running around. The other day, um, a dog came over. His name was Edgar, and um, yeah, they played around together for a little bit. So that was fun. Edgar is like a um, he was a black pug and he was a young dog so he could like you know run around and stuff whereas like Roxy she can't really do that so I'll do one last thing like one last scoop of this and then I'll show you guys how to like you know clean it off and like that I mean, I pr really probably should have bought the extension for this, but, you know, I, like, I had enough money, but it's always good to have a little bit of spare money left. Um, yeah, I believe that's full. I'll wash this down. Ooh. 
and we don't need weapons anymore. So what I'll do is I'll get a scoop of that. Oh, no, I don't need that. And then what we do is we go on the little strategic tent here. Oh, look, there's already buckets in here. Oh, that's all right. There's fences here to keep the bears out, maybe. I think there's bears in Alaska. Oh, yeah, of course there's bears in Alaska. Um, I'm pretty sure they have the big grizzly bears. Yeah, I would not want to get in an argument with one. And it would be cool to see one, but, like, you know, I wouldn't want to be within, I don't know, 100 feet of it. I guess let's put it that way. Oh, no, you don't fill the bucket up. You fill this up straight from the stream. Yep, so now it's full. And... So, you get some water. And we get the mat. And we dip it in like that. So now that mat is clean. Dip, dip. Um, so that mat is, those mats are clean. And what you want to do is you want to tip it in there. And then you sort of want to lower it. Um, let's click. Oh. Gotta sort of let some... Oh, it doesn't want to turn for me. Oh, this is a bit tricky. Oh, no, it doesn't want to turn my, um, my D key. Seems like it doesn't want to move, apparently. Oh, let's so let's... So can we just send to the up of it? Come on, D key. What? I just pull out the controls. Yeah, um... Let's shake that about a bit. Okay, yeah, that, that's it. Now, can you collect that gold there? Now, I'm just going to tip some of that out. Alright, so now, yeah, we're picking it up. Oh yeah, that one was a good one. Now, let's see. Yep, so that's good. Now we can pour that out. some more and I think that's the rest of it shake that about a bit move it up let's let that drain a bit And, um, so if I quickly do that, let me shake that out a bit more. And, yeah, that's, that's all. Um, yeah, there's none left. So now what I think I'm going to do is I think I might as well just go into town. Look, um, I'd s yeah, that's fine. I'd say it's fine. Okay, so start the engine. Let off the handbrake, and we're off. So I'm going into town, and I th believe you go to the bank to sell your gold. Um. 
So mine's currently in grams. Um, I think, yeah, you can get it to ounces, but I think you need to do something in settings. Plus, I don't really measure in ounces. I measure in grams. And let's go. I don't think that tiny little wood post would stop me moving it like I think I was going 45 kilometers an hour or maybe 50 I don't know so I'll do some quick conversion for you from kilometers so um basically if you just think of this 60 miles an hour is the same as 100 kilometers an hour so if you're going 60 miles an hour you could also say I'm going 100 miles an hour. I mean, if you're going 60 miles an hour, you could say I'm going 100 kilometers an hour. Or kilometers. Um, yeah, so I'd say that's about it. And, um, yeah, so if you just use that conversion. 60 miles per hour is the same as 100 kilometers an hour. So, oh, okay, I remember. So what you need to do is you need to come over here like this. Oh. And then, I wonder how big this engine is. Is it like a, I oh know, I'd say it's probably just a four cylinder. So it's a straight four, inline four. Oh, yeah, I don't think that's that good. Yeah, I don't think that was very good. Um, whoops. Excuse my driving skills. Trust me, I'm a better driver. It's just, you know, this game. Um, yes, just this game. Oh, that's pretty cool. Motorbike. Oh, how much CC you got there? Anyway, so um, what you do is you come over to the blacksmith and you give them all your gold and then you do smelt the gold oh that's all i could afford so so there's a story around here there's a piece of story am i on it i think i'm on it i drive over it and i run it over Oh, uh, that would have been awkward. I think it was over here the like last time I played story. Um But yeah. So that's the blacksmith. Um so the story's coming back. If I go over here. Right. I know like if you if some of you guys play Gold Rush and you know where uh, this is you guys will probably be like laughing at me but I don't really look at the story it's just sort of like you know pastime while I wait for the um while I wait for the blacksmith to do his magic yeah again if you hear background um noises lowing the morn long uh yeah someone out there's mowing the lawn I think yeah my dad's out there mowing the lawn Okay, so I just got gold, and then I probably ran that over too, but... Anyway, let's quickly just... What? It says I'm touching his car, look! Can you guys see that clear gap there? Can you guys... Yeah, you guys saw that clear gap there, right? Unless... Maybe my car's en enchanted. You, if like you guys remember from Harry Potter, like the enchanted car, maybe it's the enchanted car and it's much bigger than it really is. Ooh. Oh, I hope I have enough money to pay for that with the gold I just got. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope I made a profit, um, 
Oh yeah, I definitely made a profit. Three thousand dollars and three thousand two hundred and six dollars. Wow. I thought I got three hundred and twenty dollars and six cents exactly, but no. Um Wow, that was a pleasant surprise. And I guess I'll just go and smelt the rest of the gold. Ooh. Um, excuse my driving skills. Um, I'm definitely past the driving test. 100%. I did not fail it whatsoever. Because I never tried it. I didn't feel like it. Okay, there we go. Um, now I'm hunting around for this piece of story. I'm gonna get you this time, story. Yeah, so anyway, um, my journal. Oh, yep, so that's what I bought. Um, that's basically what's gone so far. Um, and, um, so yeah, that's what I was talking about before. You can um, upgrade it to like, you know, have a water pump. So um, while I'm here, I might as well go to the hardware store and get some petrol, petroleum or gas, whichever, wherever you're from. I hope this car has insurance. Just get the insurance company to solve it. Yeah, so sorry. Um, I hope I have insurance. So, like, you know, I hope I, you know, don't get anything. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so I might as well buy some more of these things. And... Buy the extension, 100 bucks, not too bad. Yeah, I'll just get the diesel water pump. Um, and then I believe I will need this and this. Wait, let me just check my journal real quick. Um, and hose. And yeah, I just need that filter, which is out here, I believe. Is this? Yeah, water filter. Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and load that up into the car. Into the car. Um, yeah, so I'll just load this into the car. Um. Yeah, so I'll put this in the car. Um, yeah, I hope the car's okay. Um, sorry if I have, like, an accent. Sometimes I sound a bit British. Um, yeah, sometimes I sound a bit British. Like, I have that British accent sometimes. But, um, I'm not purposely doing it. That just happens. You know, because I'm around British people a fair bit. So, um, I really like their accent. I think it's really cool. I think people's accents are, like, really cool. I really like the British accent. Um, slowly just pull in here. And I am low on some fuel. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, so here's my gold bar. And I can just sell the gold straight to the blacksmith. 
but it's basically your return investment if you get him to smelt it because you guys saw before I paid I think 260 something dollars for him to smelt it and got three thousand two hundred dollars in exchange and up uh, to three thousand two hundred six dollars in exchange Ooh. the insurance company will cover it all don't worry um hope you guys like that epic drift into the bank Ooh, that's pretty nice that was a nice surprise I didn't know I could easily get so much gold Ooh. like I said insurance company is good I have some good insurers I don't know where I'm gonna find um I get like a machine like an excavator or a dump truck or something like uh, I don't know where I'm gonna find the insurance for it but uh I just pray that I can hopefully find some bigger insurance I'm sure that's a thing um so here's the pump um so first what I'll do is I'll just see look how expensive this is that diesel's really expensive is the situation where you guys are like is like the what's the fuel prices right now? Are they like really expensive or really cheap? Because I'm pretty sure in like America can't you guys get it like two dollars a gallon? Like if you guys are getting it like two dollars a gallon then that's like really good. Um, let's just turn this puppy around. Look at this epic car, it's so cool. Like, see, it's got the US Army on it. That means I'm protected by the military. Mm. I think my insurer may be the military. I, I don't know. The guy said... I don't know, I just walked up to this guy and he was like... Do you want some insurance for that um that good old car? It looks pretty banged up. And I was like, yes please. So now uh, it's uh I think it's it's a really good deal. It's about $75 a month. So I'm pretty happy with that deal. Um That's pretty good insurance and um Drift around the corner. Oh! Um. Oh! That four-wheel drive, that four by four over those rocks is pretty smooth. Ready to come in, car. Good old work car. Oh, that was gonna be so cool if that little bush wasn't there. Um, so what I think, what I'm thinking is I'll take you off. And then take you and put you on. Uh, and then next is I need to put the mats on. Like so. Um. like that um whoops yeah I'm just gonna put that back on yeah whoops anyway so um I think I'll put maybe this 
here. And let's put some petroleum in the tank. So I just... Oh, not petroleum, sorry, diesel. Let's put some diesel in the tank. Oh, it already came filled up, I guess. So, um... Yeah, I'll just leave that there. And, um... And I'll have this here. Out, yeah, so... Like so. And on. So now, I think it should have water flow. Let's take this and plug that into there. And then, wait, so, um, hi. Um, so then what I'll do is, I'll, um, I'll quickly just go ahead and, um, I'll do a quick test, um, um, uh, I think I need to do that. Yes. Marvelous. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. There's gold coming out, but I didn't put anything in. Anyway, so um, now I can just keep scooping away. Way quicker. Wow, this is such a relief. Would have been sitting here for ages just scooping and putting that bucket in. But um I'm happy with this. I don't think that um water pump's the most fuel efficient. It's already on ninety-seven fuel and it's been running for about ten seconds. Like that's an exaggeration, but So let's quickly just keep loading this in, keep shoveling away. I made a pretty nice dent in the ground. So those nuggets were very nice. They were gold nuggets, not chicken nuggets. Nuggets made out of gold. So, um, keep doing that. See that beautiful gold running through? I am a prospector now, and yes. So let's just let those um, mats fill up. Like so. Now this is working very well. I think I'll get them up to 30 and then I... Not at 30 yet, so... 
Yeah, they're at 30. So, um, to save... What? Okay, sure, I guess I can do that then. Um, I guess to save fuel, I'll just go ahead and stop that. So, first mat. Second mat. Third mat. And lucky last fourth mat. And you guys know the drill. In. Like so. Shake that about. Oh, I may have just lost some, but you know, that's alright. And there's a nice chunk of gold there. So, um... Yeah, I might have knocked one out, but anyway, I think we'll move on to the next rotation. Oh, yep, I need to um get this out first. Some more pay dirt in there. Now, if you were to go gold panning in real life, I don't think it would be this easy. It would be lovely if it was this easy. I feel like um, a lot of people would probably be rich by now if it was this easy. I wish it was this easy. Then again, I guess it would be fun, like, you know. I guess that would sort of take a bit of the fun away from it, because, you know, you work so hard to, you know, get that single piece of gold, like... Even if you get a, you know, a piece of gold that's like, a, like a hundredth of an ounce, like, you know, you're still, like, then you'll be happy if you, like, you know, do get it. Oh, I just knocked some out then. Like, but if you just get a bunch, it's like, oh no, I have one that, you know, weighs an ounce and it's like, wow, that's like, you know, really big. I wonder how much gold left is like you know left in the world. I mean, I don't know like how many like like I feel like of course a lot of people would have to move move like if there's any gold miners out there like have you ever had to like you know move mines because you just you know mined up all the gold. There's no gold left in that one. Like I feel like that's like quite common now we're using a lot of the natural resources <laughs> and off just making sure and perfection um so you guys know the drill we're going to get out and um sell that gold so uh, i'll wrap this up soon basically i'll probably wrap this up after i sell the um after i sell that final bit of gold but um you guys know what those smoke sna stacks are for i think it's a power plant in there so like but, like, the way they're shaped, like, you guys, like, you know, watch a bit of TV, like, in some TV shows they have those big nuclear power plants and they have those big stacks and, like, there's that vapor coming off them, like, that's not steam, I mean, that's not smoke, that's steam. Like, the way they're shaped is, like, a lot different to the, so I think, like, is this, like, a concrete plant like 
I mean cement because like cement's like a key ingredient to concrete. So like concrete is a mix of cement, sand and gravel I believe. And if you want, I guess you could add in a bit of clay, but that's optional. Anyway, just jump over the train tracks there. I've always wanted to see snow. There's a lot of snow up there. Oh, and on the ground too, of course, silly me. Um, and this is still in, like, spring. This is still in spring. Look, it says 10 days to summer. So this is still in spring. Um, that's a bit, wow, and I've never seen snow before, I'd really like to, but, you know, it's like, it's just hard, you know, smelt the gold. Anyway, I'm going to get this story this time. Come on, where are you, story? I run you over. Okay, it's somewhere in the proximity here. What if I try move the car? Um, is it like on this car? Um, I don't know what happened to this car, but um, I think these people left their windows open and um, ended up leaving it out for the entire winter. So when they come back, it's probably going to be a bit wet in there. It's like, yeah, here it is. Yes. Woo. I found that story. Anyway, I got that brand new piece of gold. Now, I really could just leave it there and, like, it would eventually be sold, but I might as well just take it in the back. Oh, yeah, there's that weird car there. It's like, it's like if you hit it. Like, you're not actually hitting it. Like, like there was a clear gap before. Oh, we're just jumping. Epic drift. Oh, almost. What's that noise? Is that, like, machinery or something? Is that si some type of, like, bird, maybe? And... Ooh, that's a lot of money. So I'm pretty happy to wrap up that episode, guys. Um, I'm surprised I made a fair bit of money. Um, but anyway, this trusty old Jeep will get you on your... Um, Jeep, I mean, this trusty old pickup truck is an amazing thing. Anyway, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll probably do a series on this, so if you guys um liked it, then um you know please let me know and um thank you guys so much for watching and um yeah as always have a great day